All right, guys, hope you're all doing well. Hope you all had a good weekend and keeping safe, of course. Over the last couple of months, I've seen various threads on Reddit or the Ubisoft forums, along with Twitter posts, asking if we think the year free content will be paid or free. I've kind of talked about this before in a video four months ago when I talked about possible story beats for year free, like the Hunter story, but never really talked about whether I would pay for it or whether you guys would, or if it should just be free to everyone. Today, I wanted to do that. Drop a like and subscribe, and let's begin. So I started this video a couple of days ago, I believe it was Friday, I started writing the script for this video. I put out a poll, I wanted to give that poll um, some time to mature. It's here on the community tab. If you're not subscribed, you probably can't take part. So if you want to take part in future polls, then make sure you uh, do that. Now, the reason I wanted this one to mature is because I, I wanted to kind of just make sure that what I was thinking about this was true. And I can almost guarantee that the majority of people would have said the new content should be free. And, and I definitely wasn't wrong. Um, here's the results so you guys can see it. The Division 2 Year 3 DLC. Would you pay for it or should it be free? After 3.6k votes, which is actually quite a lot of people. So thank you very much for taking part. 27% of you would pay for the new content. And 73% voted that it should be free. Uh, I am going to get to some of the comments as well in this video. We'll, we'll talk about some of the comments on there. But uh, before we do that, like I said, there is no surprise uh, here, uh, to be honest. Because who doesn't like new content for free? On reflection, I do think that I should have included another option labelled It Depends. Uh, there was actually a comment to this effect which made me realise this should have been an option. And had it been, I actually think this would have been the most popular option as well, because I personally think it all depends on what is being offered. And I think most people will be in that boat. Uh, let's take year one, for example, where we got the episodes, which were all free. I don't think anyone would have chosen to pay for that content if Massive had put a price tag on it, because it simply didn't have enough there to warrant one. Massive knew this as well, which is why they didn't put a cost to it. Warlords of New York, on the other hand, uh, contained quite a bit of content, a succession in the law and other bits and bobs. And I think a price tag here was fine. I actually think the price tag that they applied to it, it was fine as well. It's very easy to take these two examples and see why Warlords cost money and Year One did not. And I guess when I think about it more, maybe the title of this video should be, I hope the new content is paid. And I say that because if it is paid, I expect content more akin to Warlords. Whereas if it's free, then I expect year one type content, if you can even call it that. Now, I've had a look at the comments and there's quite a lot. There's like 85 comments or something. But from what I can tell, a lot of them kind of said the same thing. And that's I would pay for a quality expansion or it depends on the amount of, of quality content that we're being given. There's no doubt that most of you guys expectedly want to get your money's worth. And actually, if I look at the question I posed in the poll, maybe I could have put the question differently uh, and I would have got a different result. One comment said, we learned it the hard way that free year means either no content or terrible content, cough, Kenley College. Absolutely. When I see people say they want the content for free, what I see is people asking for bad content because for the most part, most free content is free for a reason. Now, of course, in a perfect world, we'd be getting quality content that's free out of the goodness of Ubisoft's heart. But, obviously, <laughs> you have to be realistic here. Ubisoft are a company that have shareholders who want to make money and they want to keep making money and more and more of it. If Massive and Ubi Bucharest deliver some quality content for year three, I think it's unreasonable ex to expect them to give it to us for free and more than anything, it's, it's just very unrealistic. They will charge for that content. I do think it will be free. And I'm going to get to the reasons why. It's mainly because I don't think we're getting some kind of Warlord-sized expansion. Now, if Massive came out and said, Guys, uh, we have one or two new game modes. We've got some new missions. We've got an extension of the New York map. We've got new weapons, gear, exotics. We've got some new systems that we want you guys to try out. And other things then... Yeah, I think I'd be happy to pay for that content if the price is right. And 
I do think the price would be right. I, I think for the most part, when it comes to paid stuff in this game, apart from skins and all that sort of stuff, but for paid content, the price has normally been okay. If they say we've got one new game mode, some new weapons, and some gear, and, and, and a vanity event, and that's it, well, yeah, of course, I, I'm going to want that for free. How likely is it that we're going to get enough content to warrant a price? I'm going to say not very likely. We know the new content is being developed by a few Division veterans at Massive and by UB Bucharest, at least officially. The likelihood is other studios may jump in as well to assist, uh, which is kind of very normal for Ubisoft games. By all accounts, this team will have a year maximum to develop this new content, which isn't very long to create compelling content, I don't think. I'm confident the Summit game mode uh, took many, many months to develop, if not a year or more, and that wasn't a good game mode, in my opinion, for many reasons I spoke about before. Some of you guys may disagree with me, but I think the overall consensus around the Summit was that, at least when it first launched, it wasn't very good, and even to this point, it's still not that great. Do I think the new content will be free or paid? As I said before... I actually think it will be free. I'm quietly confident we are getting one new game mode alongside four new seasons. The Manhunt target being something to do with either Barden Schaefer or Natalia Sokolova. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see any more insight into the Hunter lore. I think this will remain a mystery just in case the Division 3 is given the green light. At which point this will become the final game in the series which will uncover the Hunters. There needs to be that bit of story that they can kind of go towards if there is a division free if they were to with this free year free content if they were just to go straight in with the hunters and tell us everything about the hunters as much as i want that that to me would signal that the division two is the last game in the series because i i don't see where the story would go after that point there is nothing that i can see that would be intriguing enough for me to want to buy a division free in terms of story because the hunters are that that one thing that everyone wants to know about, and I think the Division 3 could deliver on on that. To summarise, guys, should it be free? In a perfect world, of course. Um, you know, we'd want everything for free, and we'd want all of these companies just to give us this content out of the, the goodness of their hearts. Um, but I will pay for it. If it's quality content, I will 100% pay for it. If it's Warlords content, I know some of you guys might not... Be, you might disagree with me in terms of whether Warlord should have been paid or not. Personally, I think it should have been paid. And I was happy to pay the price that I did for Warlords of New York. And I would pay that price again for similar content. So if it's somewhere like that, great. If it's not, then 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 it's it should be free, of course. And, and, and as I said, I, I think it will be free. Um, let me know in the comments whether you guys think it will be paid or free, though. Let me know what, what you think is going to happen. Because that's not a question I've put out there yet. And I think most people are going to say that it will be free. Um, because I, I, I just don't see how they're going to develop enough quality content in the time constraints that they have with the team that they have to do it. There we go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Until the next one, epic out.